Are you guys ready? Ladies and gentlemen, we want to welcome you to our Sound Voice Live. A sound voice. Now join me as we welcome your hosts, the sweethearts of the industry, James and Regina Howard. Right. Gifts in the package wrap right. is gonna come. That's it. If you seek his face. That's it. I've been um, doing a, like a 21 day prayer journal. Mm -hmm. And it's amazing, Sonia, how you sit and you write to God. Mm -hmm. And it's different um, if we're, as when we're talking, you tend to ask for more. Mm -hmm. But in the writing, I find myself saying, thank you more. Mm -hmm. Thank you for what you've done. Thank you for what right, you've brought. Right. And it helps me see that you're going to help me down the road because I know what you've already done right, for me. Right. You, it's, I'm not coming to you because you're the gift giver. Right. I'm coming to you because you're the life giver. Because of who you are. Exactly. Oh, and yeah. You, and you give me life. That's it. And you give it to me more abundant. That's it. It's a given. That's it. But I'm going to ask you to answer a question for me if you can. Why is it that some of us in the body of Christ can't walk in the abundance of God when yet we can look and see others are walking in it when he's not a respecter of person. What is it that some of us are lacking? That it's like we just can't get what it is that God has for us. I think what it is oftentimes we get so caught up in the where we're at and what we can see, what we can touch, what we can feel. Mm -hmm. You know, it says all things work together for the good of them that love the Lord, would are called according to his purpose. Now, mm -hmm. thing is, is that mm -hmm. I preached a message a while ago entitled, It's a Fixed Fight. Mm -hmm. The thing is, is that a lot of times we lose focus because we're in the midst of our different situations and circumstances, never really acknowledging God for who he is, but losing focus mm -hmm. because of where we're at. Mm -hmm. And oftentimes we really just hold to the word. He already told us that all this stuff that's going to happen is going to happen. We're going to be tried with things that are going to come against us. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, is what do you do in the meantime? Mm -hmm. See, while you're focused on him and his business, everything around you begins to fall in place. Right. But because we've allowed the devil to place blinders on our eyes to prevent us from seeing God mm -hmm. and prevent us from seeing what God has placed right in front of us, what he's laid right at our feet, the devil has allowed, you know, he's, he's blinded us. Mm -hmm. To, to not see really what God has already placed. It's been there all the time. It's been there all the time. So we get so caught up into what it is, mm -hmm. not realizing, I tell people often, every, from the chair we're sitting in to, to the clothes we wear, everything has been tested. It's been stretched to beyond what is imaginable for anybody to be able to bear. Yeah. But it, it's shown that it's, it's, it's been stamped with the approval mm -hmm. to be able to be put for us to sit on, to be able to be put on the shelves for us to wear, to be able to be put for us to eat. So it's like we, we, we fail to realize this is, this, well, this is God. Mm -hmm. Yes, we go through. Yes, we experience sorrow. Yes, we experience hurt. Yes, we go through pain. But don't lose focus. Mm -hmm. Don't allow the devil to blind you to prevent you from seeing who God is. And that's his, that's his strategy. That's it. That's his strategy. If he can throw you off course. That's it. Then he throws everything that's out of it. that God has for that's you. That's it. And if you're watching and you're listening, don't let the enemy trick you by throwing you off course. Amen. Don't let him sit right there. He's telling somebody right now that God's not going to make a way for you, that God's not going to provide for you. Well, I sit right here, and I look at you, and I say the devil is a liar. That's it. And I say he is defeated. Yes, he, he is. is going to make a way for you. He is going to provide for you. Yes, he is. Because the word says, and my God shall supply all oh, my oh. need according That's to it. his riches right. and glory That's by it. Christ Jesus. Now, you've got to take him at his word. Yes. All you need is mustard seed faith. And I'm sure if you've mm -hmm. ever seen a mustard mm -hmm. seed, you can tell. Mm -hmm. That seed is little, but that's all that God requires. And as Sonia sits here, she tells us, and Jason even told us before, there's something that you've got to do. You've got to cause your life to line up. That's it. According to the word of God. But you know, it's funny that you, you talk about the mustard seed. People oftentimes... One of the characteristics that I, after studying myself, realizing that the mustard seed, even though we know it or we speak about it a lot of time for its size, oftentimes we don't really get the understanding that it's the consistency 
of a mustard seed. Mm -hmm. And when I say that, out of all of the seeds that God has allowed to be placed on this earth, mm -hmm. the mustard seed is the only seed that you can put in a pot and you can pour concrete on top of it. The mustard seed will grow up, it will hit that concrete, it'll turn and it'll keep growing until it finds any area for it to come up again. Right. It does not allow situations and circumstances to cause it to hit that concrete or hit that hard place and die and not be productive. Mm -hmm. But it hits that hard place, it hits that circumstance, it hits that situation, it turns and it keeps on moving until it finds a place to come up again. Mm -hmm. And that's the kind of faith we have to have in God. I know that it don't feel right right now. I know that my situation seems to be unbearable right now, but I refuse to hit this area, hit this place and die unproductive, hit this place and not be all that God has ordained for me to be. Mm -hmm. That's so The awesome. devil is a liar. That's so awesome. <laughs> You know, I want Sonia to tell everybody where they can reach her for her awesome ministry. I'm not talking about just her ministry of song. This is a preaching woman right here. And Sonia, would you give everybody, how can we get in touch with you? How can they get in touch with you? Well, definitely you can reach me at SoniaMcGuire.com, which is my website, and you can definitely obtain information about upcoming events or up, upcoming uh, uh, areas where I'll be ministering in. Also, there's a MySpace, for slash Sonia McGuire Sings. You can also reach me uh, by way of, of MySpace as well. Um, but, but, but definitely, you know, I'm... Wow. Wow. <laughs> God is just good. I mean, I, is, I, I, the presence of God, I feel him. I, I do too. And that, that, I'm, I'm sorry. No, go. I'm, <laughs> see, that's what happens when... When you get, you get burned, men and women burning. of God together. Oh, see this. And it's, that's what should happen. It's like fire. Mm -hmm. See, I should, you should say something to me and it should ignite something oh, yeah. in me and I should oh, yeah. ignite something in him. Just like Mary. Oh, and, yeah. and 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 um, Elizabeth, mm -hmm. when when she came in and she touched the baby, leaped in her womb. I shouldn't come my in the face God. of another woman of God or Ooh. another man of Jesus. And my baby don't leave. Right. Well, mine is leaped. Come right. on, and mine, <laughs> mine, is, mine has and leaped. Mine is, somebody's getting ready. To yes, in this yes, place. yes. And Hallelujah. I want to encourage our viewers to know that your baby is leaping. Yes. And God is giving you this word tonight. Yes. That must the seed word. Don't. Hit the concrete and not produce. That's it. Keep on going until you can find your way up. We'll be right back. Oh. 